Hello everyone! So after spending so much time watching so many of the villagers, I realized that I somehow might not actually be the worst parent in Stardew Valley. Let me know which one of them goes up first, I've got money on the blue one. So after carefully and thoroughly examining all the NPCs and all their personal belongings, I've realized there are a lot of missing people in this story. And you can find clues about this in everyone's house. Examine all their objects, you'll see what I mean. Teacher's guidebook, second grade. Aw, oh, she's finally teaching Pam to read. Penny? Do you realize your father is missing? I may get to move out. It's such a burden to be worrying about mom all the time. Yeah, because that's gonna stop once you move out. At least you have to be less worried about her eating you. And that's pretty much what I think happened to Penny's father. Pam ate him. That's a really simple one. I want her to be happy, but I can't stay here forever, you know? Of course not. Risking her life every single day living with the monster. And that's just the first of many odd families in this town. Now Maru here, well, she's the daughter of Robin and Demetrius. But Robin already had a son from a previous relationship. But Sebastian's father didn't want to leave Transylvania, so they moved to Stardew Valley by themselves to start a new life. If I just disappeared, would it really matter? Not to me. But there's actually no mention whatsoever of Sebastian's father. But there is dialogue supporting the fact that Sebastian and Maru are step-siblings, as well as a book in Robin's library, Maximizing Your Second Marriage and Practical Tips for First-Time Stepdads. So that's all very clear, but Sebastian's father is completely MIA, no mention of him anywhere. Linus here, well, he gets all my kids. After I turn them into doves, he captures them and eats them. Now Alex here, he lives with George and Evelyn, but they're not his parents, they are his grandparents. As you might have guessed by the fact that they're, well, old. I'm surprised you want to be friends with an old timer like me. I don't actually. But we do get indication of what exactly happened with this family. George and Evelyn did have a daughter. Obviously at one point, that's why Alex exists. Turns out she's no longer with us. Her name was Clara. And there isn't really a lot of mention of her in the game aside from things like this note. If you're reading this, it means I passed on. I'm so sorry you had to go through this. Know that I love you both. Don't be too upset, I'm with you but no. My final request, take care of Alex, he needs a family, something stable, he's a good kid. Love, Clara. This seems to indicate that she was ill, she knew there was a chance of her dying, so she wrote a note in advance. So that explains what happened to Alex's mother, but again there's absolutely no mention of a father. Could this be another one of my long lost children? I still want to go pro, but it's not the most important thing in the world. Definitely not my child, or he would be a pro by now. It's alright my friend, the world needs failures too. And then we have Haley and Emily, definitely some of the more interesting sisters in town, one of whom still mad about the divorce. But according to the wiki, this is actually their parents' house. They've been taking care of their parents' house for the past two years while they've been out traveling the world. For some reason, they don't want to be here with their kids. Maybe not the strangest thing in the world considering Haley and Emily are both adults. And then again, I can't say I'd blame them, I'd want to get away from these two idiots too. Then there's this household. This is actually the one that I've now find the most interesting because Jazz's parents died from unknown circumstances and Marnie is her aunt, but Marnie is also Shane's aunt and Jazz is Shane's goddaughter. So I feel like there's some kind of puzzle you can piece together from this household. Jazz and Shane should technically be cousins or potentially even siblings, brother and sister being that Marnie is both of their aunt. Shane is also quite an alcoholic. Is that because of past traumatic events? Perhaps Shane is the father of Jazz. But he turned to drinking when his wife died and he's unfit to take care of a child for himself so he moved himself in with Marnie to help take care of Jazz. Interestingly, if we check in Jazz's dollhouse, the little family is gathered around the dinner table. Wait, except Grandpa, he's wedged under the bed for some reason. Now, this could be thanks to the time she saw Mary Lewis hiding under Marnie's bed, which could actually indicate a very interesting family dynamic, or it could mean she doesn't like Grandpa very much. And I really don't know what to make of this household anymore. But given all the mysteries in this game, and how it all lines up once you align the facts, I think there's actually something to solve here. Plus there's something unsettling about this jack-in-the-box. It's sprawled out, his arms bent at grotesque angles, his hollow eyes peer coldly into the distance. Perhaps the victim of an unfortunate automobile accident may be caused by a drunk driver named Shane. But I definitely feel like there's more to this story. Of course, a lot of this could be chalked up to the fact that there is apparently a war going on somewhere. That's where Kent was. For the entire first year of the game, you don't even see him because he's off fighting in that war, leaving a very young child, plus Sam, without a dad. Honestly, he's still better than most of the parents in town because, you know, they're dead. I don't know if I'll ever get used to being back home. Neither will I. The peacefulness of the town feels like a mask. That's probably just me though. Yeah, hard to say. I feel like there's a lot of weird stuff going on here now. So maybe a lot of the missing people from town had something to do with the war. Perhaps it's worse than we think. And then of course, there's this family, the worst one of all. 
Now that winter's over, we've got lots of productive weather to look forward to. Well, it's a good thing I was keeping the children warm. Unfortunately, neither of them are on fire yet, so that's disappointing. But then again, 75% of this household is disappointing. And one more odd family in town? Abigail. Her dad is actually the wizard, not Pierre. So now that I think about it, I don't think there's one family in town that has their original parents and children. Which is definitely interesting. But let me know your theories in the comments below. I'd love to read them, make more videos on them.